Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. Coming at you with 2020 Panini Elite Extra Edition Baseball. Prospect hunting, ladies and gentlemen. 10 box, random team break number 5 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship. We go strictly by this checklist right here, which I dropped the link into the chat. So you can check that checklist or you can go to the description and click it there too. All 30 teams are in, plus the not assigned spot, which is pretty much the Dominican Prospect League. So a huge block of autographs there. I know by now a couple players may have been signed to a major league team, but we're still going by this checklist. And all card ship. So a pretty good break. Big thanks to everyone here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. So there's all there's the not assigned spot at the very bottom plus the rest of the teams. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams eight times. A five and a three. One. Two. Three. And eighth and final time. After eight, we got Pat down to Justin. All right, five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got the Astros all the way down to the Rangers and the not assigned spot is in the second to last spot. Let's pop that there. All right. Uh, Patrick with your Astros. Adam with the Brew Crew. Jeff with the Tigers. Walter with the Pirates. Shane with the Padres. Chris with the O's. Joe P with the Angels, Jarrell with the Marlins, Barry with the Nats, Walter with the Twins, Jay with the Reds, Gary with the Giants, Nathan, last spot mojo, A's, Arthur King with the Phillies, Shane with the Braves, Nathan with the Yankees, Neil with the Blue Jays, Shane with the White Sox, Ed with the Cardinals, Eric with the Mariners and the Red Sox, Jeff with the D-backs, Ed, got your Cubs, Adam with the Rocks, TJ, Royals, yeah, not too shabby at all, Joe P, Rays, Indians, Patrick with the Mets. Chris, you got my Dodgers. Jarrell with the not assigned spot. That's a pretty good one. Justin with the Texas Rangers as well. There you go. Trades are allowed if you'd like. Trade at your own risk. Let's sort by column B. Joe, P, Joe P's email to ram.org did not work. All right. Now, let's pop this open. There's 20 boxes in a case, and we're going to pick and get 10 right there. Hey, teams are only garbage show if they don't hit. What if all 80 autographs in here are for you, and no one else gets autos? And those teams aren't so garbage anymore. these over here. Let's... All right, this must go over here then. All right, so a little bit of a mess here, but two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's ten boxes on the left side, ten boxes on the right side here. We'll select a die. Go with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these we'll save for next time. And this is break five, so this will be break number six. All right, there we go. Slide these over here. I'll load up another one of these later tonight. Okay, let's flip back to this list right here. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB.
All right, welcome back, folks. Ten box, Ram T number five on the thirtieth. Big thanks to everyone for getting in. No worries, Max. Of course we'll break it tonight. <laughs> nah, we'll just do it next week. Sold out. Nothing else on the schedule. Then we'll just we'll do it. In, we'll do it next month. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. I need some post-it notes. I might have to tag some of the college player cards. I need that checklist near me, too. All right. Schedule's in the chat, folks. As it says in the schedule, if it's sold out, it's, it's, it's highlighted in red. If it's sold out, it'll break tonight. We'll get on the schedule and break tonight. I guess no one pays attention to that, though. All right. All these numbered cards, which there are many of, we're going to sleeve these up later, just in the interest of time. And that's $9.99. And here's our first auto, Jordan and Wogu. 235 prime numbers autograph that he must be a cub right he is so let's mark that just to avoid confusion so that'll go to ed and the cubs and we'll do a we'll do a recap at the end as well jersey and autograph there's jimmy uh troncoso 11 out of 149. So all of those uh, Dominican Prospect League kids will go to that not assigned spot. So JT, for JT, Jarrell Taylor. Sam Weatherly, Vogel. And let's see who we have here. We have Liam Norris, Elite Extra Edition Auto for Arizona. It'll be for Jeff W. Another one for the Dominican Prospect League spot. That's Fran Aldue. Fran Aldue. Now, this, these Dominican Prospect League players, you're going to see a lot of these players, right? Just one of them just has to pan out. One or two of them have to pan out, and then it'll be pretty, pretty good return. There's Nick Madrigal, White Sox. That'll be for Shane. Prospect materials. We got hidden gems. Hobie Harris. Toronto. It's going to go to Neil and the Bluebirds. Hidden gems auto. Joey, Yiddy, Jared, and we've got Zach McCambly. Miami it goes to Jarrell Taylor and the Marlins. We got Austin Hendrick. He's, is he supposed to be? Pretty, I think he's supposed to be pretty good. Out of 195, going to Jay Goins and the Reds. Die cut right here, and we got we've got old Rafael Palmero. I don't remember him being a Cub. That'll go to Ed. I mean, Ed probably remembers. I don't. We did talk about a uh, about there's like there's a rivalry between which I kind of forgot about. There's a rivalry between. Uh, Rafael Palmero and Will Clark apparently played in the same college together. I think I don't think they I don't think they like each other. There's Jackson Clough for Washington. That'll be for Barry. I think there's a whole Wikipedia section about that.
I think Rafael Palmero is a, is a, a ladies' man. I think that might have had something to do with it. Oh, Michael Stewart. Yeah, we got we we got some we got some Cubs fans here. I pulled him a nice Brennan Davis Gold Bowman Auto a month ago, trying to see if I should wait, sell now or wait. I think he's one of their top guys. At least from that particular product. I feel like in a very general sense, in a very general sense, you kind of have to hold on all of those prospects. Yeah, Steven Punk's a Cubs guy. He says, wait, I think you have to wait on all, all of those guys. <laughs> Cubs will win the World Series next year. How does that help? Is, uh, Brennan, is Brennan Davis going to be playing? 20 out of 60. Trevor Halver, New York. New York Yankees, I think. Yeah, he is a Yankee, and that'll go to Nathan Jones. Rainer Vargas autograph for Jarrell. Prospecting is pretty tough, Michael Stewart. I mean, if you need the money now, like obviously, you know, go ahead and sell it. There's Andrew Vaughn right here, relic. But it's tough. If you kind of do the research, see, uh, I mean, what do, what do Cubs fans think? Is he going to be, is he going to be playing this year, Stephen? Does anyone know? That's for the uh, that's for the White Sox, by the way. Oh, it doesn't say. Right. Andrew Vaughn's a White Sox? Yes. <laughs> Steven says put into GameStop. Stop. Back over 300 again. There's Luke Little to 10. Die cut auto. There it is, Luke. I think from the blue, he must be a Cub. He is. Yeah, that's what we heard. AMC, Nokia. Those, those are the next ones, allegedly. I don't know. My money's too scared for that. There's Freddie Zamora for the Brew Crew. It's going to go to Adam Copperman. And there's Bobby Miller, 30 out of 35, die cut autograph. Pretty sure he's a Dodger. Yeah, he is. For the Dodgers, who's got my Dodgers? Chris Miller. And Blackberry's another one too. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, stick it to Wall Street, but <laughs> my money's too too scared for that. And we've got, out of 99, Roger Clemens. First round materials, Red Sox, Eric Young. So Brandon, so Michael sort of did do his research. He's, Keith Law says that he's ranked 61st on the process. This is Brendan Davis for the Cubs we're talking about. 61st on the last prospect list by Keith Law. Apparently he's a raw talent. Might not see the field for two to three years. It, it's it's tough. It, prospecting is, is, is tough because a lot of times you got to hold on to it because... What happens if he becomes the next superstar, right? Then that that Bowman draft autograph, that Bowman autograph, double, triple, or Santiago Flores for Pittsburgh. That'll be for Walt. So that that that's the tough that's the tough part. Nick Swinney. What position does he play? There's Nick Swinney for my rivals, the Giants, Gary Goldberg. And we got a one out of five, Nick Nider. 
Future Thread Signature. That's a nice patch there. And a train whistle. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Who has Miami? Jarrell Taylor. JT. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Now let's hope he becomes a Hall of Famer. <laughs> All right, next one. One stock I would invest in, maybe this T-Rex tape. Get involved with, with, with big tape. Center fielder. I've seen some blogs that, that track this sort of stuff. You might be able to, I forget what it's called, but someone does that. And this person's theory is that that it's kind of like fantasy sports, right? Like, you can find outfield for your fantasy sports team pretty easily. If they're a little, they're they're more common, basically. But like the cards that seem to have, like you know, unless you're like Mike Trout, but the cards that seem to have like a lot of value going forward, corner infielders. I think this person was saying third baseman, shortstops. Whoa! That's the only one with the team name. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, that's busted. The, that's the only one with the team busted. Name. Here's Garrett Mitchell. Garrett Mitchell Marlin, maybe? Brewer. That'll go to Adam and the Brew Crew. All right. Kramer Robertson. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. St. Louis. So the last article you read about Brandon Davis, potential 30-30 oh, center fielder. And that has the highest ceiling among Cubs position prospects. Yeah, it's tough. The Cardinals, Ed Aarons. Um, it's such a it's a combination of what position do you play, what's your ceiling. You know, Cubs Cubs though is a big market team. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of a lot of passionate collectors of Chicago Cubs items. So it is a public team. So that that that's a good thing. You know, because if he does become the next whoever, you know, imagine what his card prices are going to go for. Him. There's Mark Haven Hence. Cardinals. Has there been any word um, on what the Cardinals gave? Oh, here's another Cardinal for Ed. Two out of 35 die cut. Maybe it's a couple of these guys. Die cut autograph. Oh, I would definitely get it graded. I mean, he is, organizationally, I think, he, he's one of the top prospects in the farm system. You know, I don't know. And then maybe you just kind of watch the market and you just see... At what point, you know, at what point, if it goes down too much, you know, maybe you, you set a, a range where you're like, all right, I just got to sell it at this point, you know? Like, I'm not going to wait around for this guy. Otherwise, you can kind of hold sort of a, sort of whatever your acceptable level of risk is. There's Jason Dominguez. And I'm sure once the baseball season starts, and then the minor league season starts, and he's, you know, getting into some action, you know, and that, that could help give you a better idea and you'll have like YouTube videos to watch and see like hey is this kid going to be worth it see people's reactions there is hidden gems William Holmes looks like a, an angel yes an angel for Joe P the Dominguez relic goes to Nathan and the Yankees let's hope he works out too that actually actually Michael yeah you should send out to get, get graded because it will take about six months and by then You'll see. You'll see if it. You'll see if uh, it was a good decision or not. There's Alric Soler, twins. It's gonna go to Walter. Right. Yeah. The no, the lack of a minor league season last year definitely hurt. That, that was brutal. Not only you know the kids themselves, you know who are out of job for the entire summer. You know, but for, for collectors as well. There's Chris Bubich. 
98 out of 99 future threads signatures for TJ and Kansas City. I don't know much about this guy. I've seen his name around, Teach. There he is. Am I pumped tomorrow for the Royal Rumble? Goldberg is gets to wrestle like he's like Goldberg Goldberg from back in the day? Here's uh, Isaiah Green. A little dent in that corner there that I don't like, but sometimes that happens with Elite Extra Edition. It's sort of hard to see. Maybe you can see it right a little bit right there. But Isaiah Green uh, is a Met. That one was kind of hard to tell. That'll be for Patrick. And die cut autograph. We got Juan Bito for the not assigned spot. Die cut nine out of fifty-seven for Jarrell. It sounds like it, Michael. It sounds like I have not. Travis saying yesterday, I have not watched wrestling in in a in a long time. I mean, if, if it's if it's on, I. I don't mind. I leave it on. I never really followed it super close anyway. But. When's, when's The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin coming back? I'll, let's see that. I want to see Stone Cold... Crack open some beers and give people the double bird. Give people the, the stone cold stunner. Is Royal Rumble on? Is it TV or is that a is that a pay per view event? Is it Royal Rumble? Yeah, Royal Rumble. Is it a pay-per-view event? I mean, there's nothing on tomorrow, right? So, what else are you gonna watch tomorrow, Michael Stewart? I guess Jaspies. We're on tomorrow. There's Holden Powell. No, but you, you can put Jaspies on the main screen. Little, little uh, WWE on another screen. WWE Network? Do I even have? I should check if I even have that. Holden Powell for the Nationals. Victor Costa. On card autograph for Jarrell. Wait, wait, did we just go back 20 years? Travis is talking about Undertaker has last match in Survivor Series. Booker T is going to be at the Rumble. Sting? Uh, what is going on? I'm just going back in time. All right, and all, all these cards ship, of course. And they'll all be sleeved and top-loaded, too. Hey, Prospect Materials, Bobby Wood Jr. TJ and the Royals. And then there's another one for the Nats, Brady Lindsley, going to Barry Roberts and the Nationals. The Rock is a show called Young Rock. What, what's the premise of that? There's Be Jiwan to ten. Pirates, must, Walter. Pirates must have like a contingent of scouts in like South Korea. There's Max Meyer autograph. I'm pretty sure Max Meyer is a Marlin. He is. I think he's like a top five pick. Jarrell. He went from Minnesota, Burr. To Miami, warm. All right, we got Hunter Barnhart for Tampa Bay, seventy out of two hundred five, going to Joe P. 
the Tampa Bay Rays. It's a sitcom debuting on NBC about his childhood growing up as a son of a wrestler. Ah. Hmm. There's Calvin Hidalgo for Jarrell in the that spot, the not assigned spot. Casey Mize in his Team USA gear going to the Tigers. That'll be for Jeffrey. And we've got Helio Ramos, Hidden Gems autograph for the Giants. Gary with the Giants. Have a little room here. All right, and let's keep going here. Is 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 the Rock in the show? Is he in that show? Stephen Funk, do you think Hulk? How, do you think how Hulk? Uh, do you think Hulk Hogan is stronger than Super Superman? Like the well, Superman's not real. So I would argue that Hulk Hogan is stronger than Superman, unless Superman's a wrestler. Everyone likes The Rock, right? So, do all right. There's die cut. One out of eight. Cody Thomas, who looks like a Dodger. That's going to be, yes, a Dodger. That'll be for Chris Miller. Oh, sorry, Michael Stewart. Earmuffs. There is Victor Quezada for the uh, for Jarrell in the not assigned spot. Are they gonna? They're going to bring Mr. T back into the mix? Ooh, all right, all right. TJ saying that Cody Thomas is a beast. They were way high on him in Tulsa. Yeah, Flash's ability to tee off. You got a, you got a name check here, TJ. First full year above Class A after going yard three times for Double A Tulsa on April 17th. Hmm. All right. Force Whitley. Oh, Batman's definitely real, Travis. I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos is Batman. There's Gilberto Salasino for Minnesota. For the Twins, that'll be for Walter. There is Zion Bannister. Not Zion Williamson, but Zion Bannister. Rangers. That'll be for Justin Humphrey. Wonder how many extra hits Zion Bannister gets because people are searching for Zion Williamson. Wonder if he gets a boost in value because of that. Oh, and is that Spencer Troy? It is. One ninety out of two twenty on card autograph Spencer Torkelson. That's a big deal, Jeffrey with Detroit. Nice. We've got a die cut autograph, Juan Fen. 
to 39. That'll be for Seattle. Eric Young with the Mariners. Zion needs a baseball. Zion Williamson needs a baseball card. Yeah, his home runs would be like 700 feet. There's uh, Hodaini Henriquez. Some nice color in that patch there to 10 for Jarrell. You know, Stephen Punk, Rex was just talking about this last night. This actually gets into maybe a slightly larger top loader here. Rex was talking about this last night, Stephen Punk, that, uh, that they're going to have... Uh, That in a, a, another movie, they're going to have Michael Keaton appear as as Batman? I forget what the premise was, but I think there there was some discussion about that. But he'll, he'll come back as, a, as an older Batman in some alternate universe or a different narrative thread from the other DC Batman movies. Outside of the Robert Pattinson movies. There's Hessen Kirkstad. Two out of three die cut. He's a big prospect. Chris Cataloni with the O's. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And there he is again. This time, piece of his jersey. There he is, number two pick. Got Mike Bauman, another Oriole. Three in a row. He's heating up. He's on fire. Patrick Bailey to 207. Next box. Andres Inez, we've got the Mets pinstripe right down there in the middle. That'll be for Patrick and the Metropolitans. We have Hidden Gems, Jeremy Rocho. Think for the Dodgers. No, he's actually an angel. All that, all that blue threw me off. So that'll go to Joe P and the Halos. We have Tyler Keenan, Mariners. And if they're bringing all these old wrestlers back. Mr. What's Mr. T doing these days? And there's Yolin Cespedes. That is, that is not Yoannis's half brother. I think Yoelki Cespedes is his relation. That Royce Lewis prospect materials for the Twins. That's going to be for Walt. Has Royce Lewis made his debut yet? He's a. I feel like we've been waiting for him for a little while. All right, we got a Jackson Clough, another one for Washington, Barry Roberts. We have P.D. Halpin. 
for Joe P and the Indians. Cleveland, this is for you. All right, there's Petey Halpin for the Indians. There's Austin Hendrick for the Red Legs. 109 out of 195. Brady, Yolin, die cut. And we've got a autograph here, Nick Garcia, Pirates. It'll be for Walt. There's Felnin, Celestin, to 149. <laughs> yeah, I know, I think all of his teams has gotten something. Is that right? My tower is saying Dave Winfield drafted by Fro, Fro, four pro league. I should put four and pro together. Four pro leagues. Padres, the Hawks, Atlanta Hawks, NBA, Utah Stars, ABA, and the Vikings. I did not know that. I knew NBA, but did not know that he was. Drafted by an ABA team, and I did not know he was drafted by the Vikings. What position? Isn't Dave Dave Winfield's pretty tall, isn't he? Re wide receiver? Kind of lanky too. Maybe a wide receiver, right? FYI, Nick went ahead and turned that last four, those last four spots into a filler. So Prism Cello six, that's on the site right now, and we're gonna do five in a little bit after this break. But Prism Cello six sells out that football mixer. We can do it tonight. There's Clayton Beater for the Dodgers. So he was drafted by the Vikings in the seventeenth seventeenth round. 17 rounds? Dodgers, that'll be for Chris Miller. They thought he could play tight end. All right. There's Jimmy Troncoso. One out of 10 die cut autograph for the not assigned spot. Drew Romo. Drew Romo is a Rocky, Colorado. That's going to go to Adam Kupperman in the Rocks. Yeah, I guess it's like an Antonio Gate sort of thing. We got Victor Vodnik. Hidden Gems, Atlanta, Shane. We got Alec Burleson, St. Louis Cardinals, Ed Aarons. Jared Schuster, I'm pretty sure he's a brave. One of the big Braves, big prospects. Checklist. Jared Schuster, yes. Atlanta, ATL. It's another one for Shane. Yeah, Walter, yeah. Walter was waiting for this. It's all right. We'll do a recap at the end, Walter. Here's Chipper Jones, another one for the ATL. 
That's to 199. 167 out of 199. Chip off the old block. Piece of his jersey. And we got Nivaldo Rodriguez. Houston goes to Patrick. And we have Cole Henry. Barry Roberts, Nationals. We got Corbin Carroll, 59 out of 75, Jersey and Auto for the Diamondbacks. Jeff, Jeff W. And Christian Roa. All right, three boxes to go. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Check the schedule so you'll know when your break is coming up. I don't know if I am I even on schedule for this schedule. When did I say this break was going to be over? Oh, I'm a little tiny bit behind schedule, but that's all right. Not by that much, though. Try to catch up a little bit here. Has there been anything else announced? Any, anything else announced uh, regarding what the Cardinals sent to the Rockies in that Arenado deal? I, I still can't wrap my head around why the Rockies would. Have you, has anyone ever heard fifty million dollars being being moved with a team? That's. Usually it was just cash considerations and it'd be like a million dollars here and there. You know, fifty million dollars is a lot. That's a. Joe, can Teddy take the fan again? Yes, he can. Yeah. There's Burl Caraway. Old Burl Caraway is a cubby going to Ed. Imagine that team being like, we, we want to trade you so bad that we're going to give the other team $50 million. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They're like, that's how, that's, how, that's what the Rockies are. They're like, hmm. For a good player, too. For a good player. They're like, we, we want to move him so bad that we're also going to send the Cardinals $50 million. <laughs> Just add that to your payroll. I don't know. You can buy new computers for the entire staff. There's Dax Fulton. I mean, what can you do with $50 million? You can put in a new, new grandstand, right. you know? Build a new training facility. New weights. You know, give, give some interns some bonuses. Find some more players. There's Levi Prater for St. Louis. Then with that card that said Rockies, yeah, it's all for that one guy. All it, the old, autograph cards say Rockies. What about his base yeah. cards? No, they say Colorado. Base cards say Colorado. That's, That's funny. All the autos of Jonathan Dodds. All say Rockies. I'm, I'm sure people have noticed, right? There's Adley Rushman, O's. There's Vidal Bruhan out of 180 for Joe P. and the Rays. Yeah, I looked on eBay to see, and there's a bunch of them. They all say Rockies, but like, nobody says it in the Nobody's in, or Nobody title. even notices it? No. I Interesting. Because so. So I was going to say, I wonder if that changes the value of that at all. But yeah. There's Gage Workman. Die cut autograph to 24. The workman going to Jeffrey and Detroit. We got Dylan Dingler, another one for Detroit. He's heating up, he's on fire. Uh, it was it was Jonathan Daza, out of uh, Donris Optic. So apparently all of his all of his autographs say Rockies on it, which is not allowed. Out of forty four, Jared Jones, Pittsburgh. But all of his base cards still say Colorado. Jared Jones for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to Walt and the Pirates. 
And we got Brady Singer. It's pretty good, right? Pretty solid. 62 S95, TJ? TJ has the Royals. I don't know if that makes a difference in the card market, though. But, it, I mean, maybe as an oddity. If he turns out to be a good player, then might 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 be even more. Oh, Nate Jones. It must be a Rockies fan. Oh, yeah, he's because he, Nate's saying, why did the Rockies send $50 million to the Cardinals? Because Jeff Burdich, the GM, is an absolute moron and a joke. It's hard to be a Rockies fan for several years, and, and even worse now. Yeah. I mean, as, as a division rival, I'm a Dodgers fan, Nate. As a division rival, I'm st it, you know, it still has me scratching my head. Just two years ago, I feel like. I feel like I, I, feel like I was talking with my friends. I mean, like, i got to watch out for the Rockies in the next couple of years. But I'm, I was hearing rumblings like Arenado got paid all this money and then he was promised he, he was promised that uh, the team would they would build around him and that didn't happen. He felt like he was you know led astray. That's a, kind of a mess. Out of 999 there's Spencer Torkelson. Yeah. That's why I didn't really refer to it as an error card. Yeah, does an uncorrected, Mike Tower brings up a good point, does an uncorrected error card add value? Technically, if it's not corrected, then it's not an error card, I guess, if you want to be technical about it. I think you would have to be corrected, and then the other card would be considered the error then. Right now, it's just an oddity. There's Tyler Brown, Houston Astros, Patrick. So David's saying that, from what I understand, the Rockets are still saving $149 million over three years with the deal. I mean, that's fair, I guess, but... Nolan well, Arenado. There's Manuel Pena for Jarrell. Casey Myers prospect materials. Oh, sorry, hidden gems. Or so where, where's that 140 million, 149 million dollars gonna go now, David? Owner, <laughs> GM bonus. I mean, is that gonna be reinvested into players? You would you would hope you would assume. 149 million dollars can overhaul a roster pretty quickly. There's uh, Brian Welvis for Oakland. That'll be Nathan. There's Levi Thomas. There's Robert Hassel. He's a big prospect right here for the Padres. That goes to Shane. Maybe the owner had been short-selling short GameStop, yeah. Well... You know what's this, this GameStop thing is so is so fascinating to me. Stephen Cohen, the the Mets owner, recently I think yesterday went off Twitter because there was some like he had some argument with GameStop. The guys were long on GameStop and he's short on GameStop and I, I, something like that. There's Case Williams for Colorado for the Rockies. That's going to go to Adam Kupperman. And then there's Juan Beto to 149. So it's, I, I didn't really read the story in detail, but yeah, he had something to do with it to the point where I think some MLB... Kim saying he had an argument with Dave Portnoy. Was that what it was? To the point where I think... It was, this was kind of weird. Boomer Esiason, I think, said he wasn't going to go to any Mets games until he knows what Stephen Cohen, what, what's his role behind this GameStop roll, roller coaster. What's wild? GameStop. Prospect materials, Casey Mize, 10 out of 10. Who, who knew? And w would you say, like, if I told you six months ago, 
that in the middle of January, late January, GameStop would be a hot topic of conversation. If I said that six months ago, eight months ago, you'd be like, what? GameStop? There's Clay Aguilar from New York. Um, is he a Met? No, I think he's a Yankee. Yeah, he is a Yankee. There's Drew Romo right there. That'll be for Nate Jones and the Bronx Bombers. Yeah, he deleted his Twitter, right? He's not even off Twitter. He's just even deleted Twitter. So... I'll be looking forward to the. Uh, I'll be looking forward to the last box, everybody, to the uh, documentaries on this on this time period. <laughs> yeah, Dogecoin. I, I I have to admit, Dogecoin. I mean, it's got a it's got a dog on there. I like dogs. If if there was a, if there was a crypto called pug coin oh man i'd be all over that put my life savings in pug coin maybe i should start pug coin check out the break schedule folks pug pictures <laughs> if you like pugs there's jimmy glowenke to 51 uh i almost said niners san francisco giants gary goldberg oh tj's on the doge How's that working out right now? I have no idea where, where it's at at the moment. There's Jordan Westberg. Jordan Westberg, where do you, where do you go? Uh, he's an Oriole. So that's gonna go to Baltimore. That'll be for Chris. You even got Baltimore color post-it note here too. There's Alex Rodriguez, piece of his jersey, to 199 for the M's. Nice, there you go, TJ. I think feel like you got in at a good price. Vaughn Grissom, Atlanta. Should we start a crypt crypto Jaspi coin? It's kind of what. Kind of what Panini's trying to do in a way. Although the next step would be for Panini with their blockchain stuff to uh, to try to tie physical cards into that digital market, not just digital cards. I mean, maybe that's something they're working on. I don't know. It could be interesting. If you have like a million dollars ion. Might be easier to move or sell shares of Zion in that way, which is something I, I, I know other financiers have attempted to do. Patrick Colon with the uh, Astros. There's Miguel Amaya for Ed and the Cubs. Yeah, I can't. I, I have to admit, David, I'm, I'm not really sure on how crypto actually works either. My mind doesn't work like that. <laughs> There's Isaiah Green for New York. I'm not familiar with NBA Top Shot, Kim. Isaiah Green is a Yankee, I believe. No? Met? Met, sorry. Metropolitan. That goes to Patrick. It would be interesting. I mean, there's a Herman uh, Ramirez for Drell. It would be interesting if they were, if Tops was able to, or Panini were able to do that. You know, Panini's kind of, kind of trying to do it. Tops is in New York City. You know what I mean? They're right down the street from from Wall Street, right? You could hire some former finance person to try to set something up. A couple programmers here and there, and then try to get something going. Could be interesting. Forward thinking. 
That's the wrong size penny sleeve. Let's get the larger size. And this this Tyler Soderstrom, where do you go? Tyler Soderstrom is a athletic Oakland. With that one, that'll be for Nathan Jones. And there's Victor Vodnik. Hidden Gems autograph for the Braves. Shane. There's a LeBron James highlight play that sold for over $75,000 on it. Yeah, see, that that's interesting. I think in the digital space... Again, I, I only I only know surface level stuff about it, but I think in the digital space, like is where you can really get the most value out of non fungible tokens. See you, Jackie. All right, that's it, folks. We made it to 2020 Panini Elite Extra Edition Baseball ten box Ram Team five in the books. Do I have anything else to do? Any randomizers? Just start the recap. And here's the recap, ladies and gentlemen. In no particular order. A lot of great stuff, not a bad break at all. I mean, again, the, you're, you're, we're prospecting here, you know what I mean? We're, we're gold miners panning for gold in the, uh, in the rivers of Sacramento in Northern California, you know what I mean? You know, some of, some of these guys are, are pyrite. You know, some of these guys are going to be gold. You know, so it'll it'll take some time to to refine these players and see what they turn out to be. But that's the whole fun of prospecting, which we were talking about with Michael Stewart earlier. Anyone in this rig knows how fun the prospecting can be. It's like fantasy sports, you know, the ultimate fantasy sports. It's Robert Hassel. He's going to be a big prospect for the Padres. You know, Spencer Torkelson. Is he going to be any good? If he is, I mean, these values will skyrocket. Jared Schuster for the Braves, you know? It's a big name. All these random Dominican Prospect League players. You know, there could be some diamonds in the rough there. It's the whole fun of this, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole fun. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Of course, we had that nice Spencer Torkelson to 220 going to Detroit. That was for Jeffrey. Thanks for getting in. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And thanks. This is kind of a long break, but thanks for keeping me company throughout this with some good conversations. I appreciate that, too. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.